So today I will be showing you how to fix window tints. So if I go ahead and go to the tints, everything gets tinted. The rear lights, the front headlights, and the windshield. And as you can see for the other parts, if I swap between the tints, they will still be completely black, uh, which we don't want as well. We want them to have a bit of transparency to them. And when you switch between the modes, they will be uh, less transparent and more, trans uh, and more transparent. But as you can see, now it's fully black for everything. And of course the parts that are getting tinted, we do not want, you want to remove tints from. And I'll be showing you how to do that. First off, we're going to get the car. So to the two YFT uh, files. We're going to go to uh, our folder. We're going to make another folder with the same name as the car. So that and export right here. Then we open up the YFT. We save all textures. And with the folder you just made, you're going to save the textures in there. So, and the same for the YFT. Save them in that texture. I mean, in that folder. And you should have these two IFT files and the texture dictionary. Then we're going to go ahead and import the uh, normal YFT. Make sure you have import with high enabled. And just import. Oh, it takes a bit because it's a high ass body car. To do high collisions and high shutter maps. And we're going to begin. So first off, we want to make it so the front headlights are not tinted, the windshield is not tinted, and the rear uh, the rear lights. So first off, we have to separate all the glass from the mesh. So we're going to go into edit mode, and you want to expand this out and expand the Psalms tab. And you want to look for the shader name. Uh, everything that has V glass, you want to separate. So we have to separate this, just press select. And these two are not glass, so we can just keep them. Right click and then separate. Same for the same for this thing. Select and this one is in the glass, so they should be fine. Now we're gonna go into solid mode. Or we could just go to the top right here. Solid mode. We're gonna go into vertex paint. And for the parts that you don't want to have any tint on, we're gonna make it fully black. So actually you wanna go to the uh, vertex color master and Click on the A, so the alpha channel, and I select the active channel. And like I said, anything that you don't you don't want any tint on, you're gonna make fully black and make this completely black and then press paint and set vertex color. Or you can do shift K. Then apply changes, go back to the object mode, select the other glass part, and vertex paint. I select the active channel, it should already be Alpha channel by default, then make this fully black again and set the vertex colors and apply changes. And go back to the material preview, and as you can see, it's fully transparent. This is what we want. So now we're going to go ahead and expand the mesh part right here. Cl uh, click the 001 and click the original one. So, I um, mean, Hold Control and click the original one, and press Control J to join them back together. So for this one, press uh, the O1, hold Control and click the original one, and press Control J. And we're gonna go ahead and go to the windshield. Actually, we're gonna do the headlights first. So same thing, we go into Edit Mode, select the glass right here, V glass. Same for this one as well. It's V glass. This one is not, so we can right click and separate. Same for this part, select the glass and select the glass, separate it and go into solid mode so you know that you're, uh, when you're vertex painting it's actually applying the vertex painting correctly. So I select active channel, make it black, set it and apply. Same for this one, vertex paint, isolate, make it black, paint it and apply. Material preview, as you can see again, it's fully transparent. This is what we, this is what we want. Then, same thing, uh, control click the original one and control J, control J. The front windshield, this only has glass, so you can just go into the go into solid mode and into vertex paint, isolate it, and go into the black color and paint it. 
apply. Here. Multi transparent. Now for the other tints. In the video you saw before this, uh, these are fully black, but we want them to have a little bit of transparency to them, so they're not completely, uh, they're not completely like solid black. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go to solid mode, vertex paint, isolate. But instead of making it completely black, we're gonna do something like 07. This will be a bit grayish. The whiter it is, the uh, darker is going to be uh, completely white, meaning it's going to be completely black in game. It's kind of like, uh, what's it called? It's the other way around. So it's, if it's white, it's completely black. If it's completely black, it's completely transparent, basically. It doesn't have any window tint. So we're going to find a sweet spot. Uh, it's around 0 0.7. You have to play around with this with your car. It might be 0 0.5 or 0 0.6. Um, I think 0 0.7 will be look the best for this car. So we're gonna set the vertex color and I'm gonna copy this value right here. So just hover over it and press Ctrl C. Apply changes. Go back into vertex paint on this, on the other windows. Isolate and you can hover over it and press Ctrl V. You don't even have to click it or anything. Press paint, set it again, apply. I'm quickly going to go through this because you've already seen the process a few times. You can just replay if you don't know how to do it again. Changes. And then vertex paint, isolate, paste the value, paint it, apply it. Same thing all around. Isolate, paste the value, paint it, apply changes. As you can see, this one is completely black, so it doesn't have any transparency, but these other ones, they actually have some transparency. That means they will be tinted in game. And now we can go ahead and export. Now here, we can go ahead and re-import everything. So export, re-import. So then we can go ahead and go in game and see how it looks like. Right, so as you can see, we have the car again. Let's go test the uh, window tint. So we go into window tint, and as you can see, the headlights are the headlights are not tinted, and the rear lights are not tinted as well. And as you can see, if we scroll through real quick, they will have some transparency to them. It's a bit dark, so I should have made it a uh, should have made the value a bit lower. So something like uh, 0 0.6 or 0 0.5 for example, but this will be fine for now. Yeah, and that's it.